Hello there everyone and welcome back to The Lair. Today we are looking at 6 more RTS games you can look forward to and this time with a twist I will add one you can already buy. Uh, I was actually contacted by the developer and looked into the game and you know what? It's really good. Let's get right into it. Really quickly if you are subscribed thank you for that. If you're not yet subscribed please do so please click the button i'm trying to get to 250 subscribers and if i can achieve that goal i'll be very very happy so first up we have nuke them all this is the game you can already buy right now it's 70 percent off on steam and what it is about well dive into a fast-paced action-packed old school rts inspired by 90s classics such as z as well as modern classics like Company of Heroes and They Are Billions. It's all about 100% action and strategic battles with 0% tedious base building and resource collections. Now, what do you do here? Well, you basically capture the flag. This game is RTS Capture the Flag and as you do so, you produce units faster and you get more uh, buildings and that way you can turn the tide of battle against uh, blue. Mostly you will be playing as red and uh, it's very very funny. You are introduced with this really funny intro when you get into the game and then a lady uh, does an onboarding with you. She calls you commander so that's nice. And the game itself it really is action packed. It also has a lot of modes. It has robot zombies. So you know it's a good one. Now this wasn't sponsored or anything at all. I did try out the game and I do like it and I can recommend it. It's uh, done by a solo developer so uh, you can support uh, them now on Steam. Like I said 70% off. The link is in the description. And first one on our list that we can look forward to is Dust Front RTS. Dust Front is a classic RTS with a grand strategy elements and non-linear campaign. Lead strategic maneuvers, overwhelm your enemies with cannon fodder or stun them into the stone age with carpet bombing on the lifeless fields of Dust Front. So what exactly will you do in Dust Front? Well, you will take care of army creation, you will have arsenal of tanks, aviation, infantry and vehicles of various purposes, you will take care of your base construction and resource gathering, factories for all the production of vehicles, refining minerals and barracks with storage facilities. All buildings are important on the global map as well. Oh yeah, this one has a global map that is procedurally generated so missions are combined with procedural map generation and external rules. Now as of now the information is that from the beginning you will be able to play the campaign with just one faction that's Empire and then depending on the success of the game the other factions campaigns will be added too. The release date isn't known as of now but it is coming soon. Next up we have Beyond All Reason. This is a game based on Total Annihilation, so you know it will be really really good. You have everything, you have commanders, resources, power which is wind or solar. You actually have to uh, see how the map uh, wind power is, so then you can decide will you build wind power or solar. And then later on you can build fusion reactors and of course we have grand battles between two factions armada and cortex armada's doctrine is mobility versatility stealth direct firepower and they are more suited to open battlefield whereas cortex relies on overwhelming firepower tough units and conventional artillery they have cheap main battle tanks less mobile but they do excel in both taking ground and leveraging it they require more metal but less energy than Armada. So if you want to try it out, Beyond All Reason is available on the developers page. It is coming to Steam, but they did say they want more features uh, so you can try it out on Steam then. Uh, right now you have AI Skirmish and you have PvP. Age of Mythology Retold is next from the creators of the award-winning Age of Empires franchise Age of Mythology Retold goes beyond history to a mythical age where gods, monsters and humans collide. 
combining the best elements of the beloved Age of Mythology with modern real-time strategy designs and visual. Retold is an epic and innovative experience for old and new players alike. Secure your domain, command legendary monsters and call upon the power of the gods to crush your enemies. So first up, I do have a question for all of my viewers. Did you get to play the playtest? I did try, but um, my connection seemingly didn't work. At least not for the game. I got a lot of lost connection errors, so I couldn't really get into it. But the majority of players who did play, uh, they said that they liked the game. Uh, even the ones I talked to uh, myself, my friends. I would say that I did check uh, the reception and for the majority it seemed good. The main complaint was the UI, which seemingly is a little bit reminiscent of Age of Empires and not so much Age of Mythology, but it does seem to honor the first game and it does seem that everyone who enjoys the old game will enjoy this one too. Of course there's a lot of quality of life upgrades and apparently now you will be able to control more gods than just one, so that is good. Uh, you will, of course, have the pantheon of gods from Greek, Norse, Egyptian and Atlantean pantheons and each of those will play differently with different nations. So I'm looking forward to this one and I hope I can get to play it very, very soon. Next up we have Sea Power Naval Combat in the Missile Age. From the lead designer of Cold Waters, Sea Power lets you control NATO and Warsaw Pact forces in modern naval conflict campaigns. Use your advanced naval weaponry and sensors to respect rules of engagement and defeat the enemy forces in a tense fight for initiative. Well, uh, this one is very very unique because it focuses more on naval and uh, aerial battles and the story for this one goes after hostilities have broken out in central Europe the race is on as a pressured US Navy escort force battle off Soviet bomber and submarine attacks on perilous quest to reinforce NATO defenders in Europe meanwhile in the Persian Gulf the conflict between Iran and Iraq risks escalating into a larger confrontation between superpowers as both sides indiscriminately attack neutral merchant shipping. Well, it sounds good, the only thing is that Microprose has a track record lately of not delivering the best games, but I do have high hopes for this one. And here we have Immortal Gates of Pyre. Play hardcore competitive battles or enjoy casual matches thanks to Immortal Gates of Pyre easy to learn, hard to master gameplay. Choose from a rich and diverse cast of immortals and factions to find which suits your playstyle. I have to say, this one looks really really good. Uh, the trailers, the screenshots, in the trailers the battles look amazing and we are getting a playtest this weekend, so do sign up for it on Steam. In the game you will be able to choose from a rich and diverse cast of immortals and factions to find which suits your playstyle. Now this sounds amazing because it insinuates that you will be able to play your best playstyle, the one that you like the most. If that's true, sign me up already. So next up we have command unique elite vanguard units such as the powerful Zentari warriors of, or the terrifying bone stalker. Wield pyre to cast your immortals unique powers such as the pillar of the heavens or the rain of blood to turn the tides of battles in your favor. You also have an optional build assist function that delivers ease and accessibility. So let your armies and bases build themselves so you can focus on strategy. And of course dive into the epic lore behind the God Star Pyre and the world surrounding it spanning across thousands of years of history. I do have high hopes for this one and I do hope that the PvP is as amazing as it sounds. I can't wait for the playtest, I hope I get in and if I do Believe me, I will do a deep dive on this one because it looks really amazing and I can't wait to try it out. And last but certainly not least is Zero Space. 
cinematic real-time strategy where you change the fate of the galaxy. No two matches plays the same, thanks to nearly limitless combinations of factions, mercenary units and heroes. Play with friends in cooperative or versus modes. Now this one along with the Immortal I'm looking to forward the most on this list because it looks absolutely amazing. I love big intense battles in an RTS game and this one looks like it will offer just that. I loved Command & Conquer 3 where you could build large armies really quickly and just you know destroy your enemy. I did play not so I guess that helped but again this game looks like it will deliver just that. Now there is some very very interesting things in this one. For example the campaign will feature mass effect like uh, progression with your crew and your heroes that you recruit for the campaign which sounds really really interesting and the choices that you will make will also impact how the outcome is now this is very rare in rts games so this aspect i'm looking forward to i do like campaigns in rts games even though i am more of a pvp player but if there's some great lore behind i'm all for it now an open world campaign with 13 main story missions 14 hero loyalty missions and 40 side story arcs this means that this game will be huge and you will get a lot of playtime out of it. You have three hours of cinematic cutscenes and interactive dialogues where your choices dictate the game's outcome. Four main factions with 10 units and 9 buildings each, six mercenary factions with 4 to 5 units each, 14 heroes, and of course, all of that is wrapped in 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3 versus matches and of course you can play against AI. I really hope this one gives us a playtest soon too because it just looks amazing and I just want to play it. I'd like so you know developer if you are watching this um come on please <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so these were six more RTS games that we can look forward to if you like the video please subscribe comment like uh, comment on RTS that I didn't cover maybe here and until next time Goblin out bye An optional build assist faction f Function function dude come on based on total annihilation <laughs> uh, I'm not informed today certainly not least <laughs> I hate my life